In this tutorial we're going to look at side chaining and how we can set it up in Logic using the Ultra Beat and we're also going to use an ES1 synth as well. Now side chaining is this pumping effect that you hear in a lot of hard house, techno, um, loads of different forms of music and the idea is that one sound is going to uh, cancel out another so when the kick plays the bass is going to drop and when the kick uh, disappears the bass is going to come back in again so you get this kind of womp effect uh, which can sound really really cool so the first thing we need to do is we're going to set up an ultra beat so we're on instrument one and uh, I'm going to use a multiple output ultra beat and I'm happy to use just this preset kit at the moment so let's find a blank pattern and let's just draw in some kick drums okay now I want to send this and this is good practice anyway but I'm going to send this to its own channel on the mixing desk so click on main and then I'm going to send it to channel 17 now if we go back to the mixer and just get rid of that for the moment Okay, we can see there's our ultra beat, and to the quickest way to create a new channel that links directly to the ultra beat is to click on this little plus symbol here. Cool, and there it is. And at the moment, it's created a stereo track. We want a mono track, so click on this button to convert it to mono. It now says, oh, I can't deal with that because you told me that you wanted a stereo one. So now we go to instrument one and choose number 17. And when we play our track, we should see our kick coming straight through. He says, let's go to the ultra beat. Okay, there it is. We can see it underneath now. Cool. Okay, now the next thing we're going to do is we need to set up an auxiliary channel. So to do that, we click on the plus symbol, come up here. Uh, refine, create, and here's our auxiliary channel. And what we need to do is to now insert a su uh, compressor. So go to dynamics and let's put a compressor in. Okay. Uh, now the key thing here is that we need to now tell the kick to go to this compressor on this channel. So let's label this as sidechain. And then on auxiliary one, which is what our kick is on, and let's label that kick, we now need to add a send effect. So we want bus. Ah, sorry, my mistake. What I didn't do on the side chain is set it up to a bus. So I need to set the input to bus one. That's right. So side chain is now on bus one. Come back to your send effects on the kick, and bus one we can see is the side chain. And what we now do is we whack this up, say to about zero. And if we play our kick, we should see this coming through on the compressor. Let's go back to the ultra beat. you can see the compressor is now picking that up okay now we can get it really pumping by turning the threshold down a bit and pushing the gain up maybe also bring your bring your release and attack down and give it a slightly higher ratio okay so that's the first stage set up now what we need to do is get some bass in so I've got a, well it's actually a lead synth, and for the purposes of this, I'm just going to put in a very simple uh, note here. So we're just going to draw in something on C2. So we take our pencil. And we 
should now have one solid long note. But notice that the note is constant, it's not cutting in and out. So what we now need to do is go back to the ES1, which is our synth, and now we add a compressor onto this channel. But the difference here, let's close that down. So this is our, let's label this track, this is our bass. So we, can, we know which compressor we're working with. The difference is here that we use now the side chain setting and we set that to bus one. And fingers crossed when this now plays back. There we go. It's all about the ratio. actually play along live to that so if we had a melody something along those lines and there you have it so just to recap again very quickly Create your ultra beat kick, run it to its own channel, um, create a uh, an auxiliary channel here. Oops. Create an auxiliary channel like this one. Add a compressor. Make sure the input is set to bus one. Create your bass or your lead sound. Add a compressor onto that, and then set your side chain level. Uh, your sidechain input to bus one and then play about with lots of ratio and uh, a very low threshold so it's really picking up all of the sound and then tweak the attack and the release uh, until you're happy and that's it <laughs>